Welcome to Electron Line. Again, if you see this integral in an integral table, the integral of dx over x squared minus a squared, you might find this as being the answer, but you may also find this as being the answer. So what we're going to do here is show that those two answers are indeed equal to one another. So we need to find the definition of the inverse hyperbolic cotangent. Turns out that the inverse hyperbolic cotangent of x is equal to 1 over 2 times the natural log of x plus 1 divided by x minus 1. So what we need to do now is not find the inverse hyperbolic cotangent but of x, but to find it for x over a. So what we're going to do here is we're going to substitute every x for x over a and see what we end up with. So the inverse hyperbolic cotangent of x over a, well, what we're doing here is we're going to replace every x by x over a and see what we get. So 1 half times the natural log. And of course, we have to remember here that x should always be, or the square root of x, or I should say the square root of x should always be equal less than 1 because we don't really want a negative answer in here. That's why we put the absolute value signs around it. So here we have 1 half times the natural log of, and instead of x, we write x over a. So we end up with x over a plus 1 divided by x over a minus 1. And then we want to write everything over a common denominator. So this is equal to 1 half times the natural log of x plus a over a divided by x minus a over a. And then realizing here that the a's cancel out, so this becomes equal to 1 half times the natural log of x plus a divided by x minus a. Now a couple of things. Take a look at our answer here. Here we have the natural log of x minus a over x plus a, and there we have x plus a over x minus a. So what we can do is we can take the inverse of that and also put a negative sign in front of it. So this can now be written as minus 1 half times the natural log of x minus a at the top and x plus a in the denominator. So now we have a look a little bit more like we have over here. But now we still have to have the 2a instead of 1 over 2. So let's see here. What can we do? We can multiply. Well, after all, let me go ahead and put this in here. So we can say that the hyperbolic cotangent, or the inverse hyperbolic cotangent, of x over a is equal to this. And what we want is we want to have a 1 over 2a and a negative. So let's see here. I need a red pen. What if we multiply the left side by 1 over a and we multiply the right side by 1 over a? Like this. So now on the left side we have 1 over a times a hyperbolic, the inverse hyperbolic cotangent of x over a, which is almost what we have over there. So now what I also need is I need to, whoa, drop my pen here. I need to multiply this times a negative one and multiply this by a negative one. So this will cancel out, becomes positive, which now this looks exactly like what we have over here, and this looks exactly like what we have over there. Those two are now equal, so therefore these two are now equal. So we can say that 1 over 2a times the natural log of x minus a over x plus a is the same as minus 1 over a times the inverse hyperbolic cotangent of x over a. So you see that both of those answers are indeed the result of the integral of dx over x squared minus a squared. That's how it's done.